Okay. How many parameters are we going to have to give accumulate tree? It's four, right? Tree. The tree itself, this term modifying function, the operator that will combine subtrees in the base case. I'm going to draw blank lines representing the three other things. Can you explain it? I know, I know you guys are being productive, but I, I can't. Yeah. Okay, so what's the second term? What is it? The function, which is it's the term function, which transforms the term. Okay, so we're going to add up all the leaves. Um, so it's just like some tree, where when we get down to a leaf, like we just we give it back. So it's the identity function. So we can write one, we can make one here, lambda of n, n, or you could say identity, which is equivalent to that. So it's a function that accepts a number and then produces that same number. So when, um, when it gets used, we'll, we'll have recursed down so that tree is, is not a pair, it's a number. We transform the number by returning the number. So if we said accumulate tree of five, it would say the sum of that tree is five. Okay, the next thing is the combining function, the operator, which goes here. So this is how it combines the left and right recursions. So what do we want? Yeah, we want plus. So you can say the actual plus, you could put the plus symbol, which remember, if you type the plus symbol into racket in the listener, in the REPL, what does it give you? It, it says, it looks up plus in the environment. It says, what is plus? And it says, oh, it's a procedure for adding things. That's what it actually displays. If you were uncomfortable writing plus, you could also say it's a function of two parameters. Because remember, it's going to go there. So it's going to be the result of accumulating the, the car and cutter side. So you know it's a function of two parameters. We'll call them like x and y. And then you could say, OK, it's a function that adds x and y. Those two things are equivalent. And then, what's the final thing? Yeah, yeah, it's the base case. So when you get, when you've recursed down to empty list, what is the sum of the empty list? It's zero. So if, like, if you're still not sure on this, after class, go and do the whole substitution model on this thing, and it should make sense then.